Okay, today's November 20th and we are going to do a quick test drive in the 1983 Ford Bronco. Alright, so I am going to go ahead and get it started. There's a push button start down here. Car is now running. I'm going to put it into drive. Uh, the speedometer on this vehicle does not work, but all the other gauges do work. And we are just going to go go down the street and then we're gonna turn around and then get up to freeway speeds. Um, this Bronco, uh, although it, it's obviously gonna be a project, um, it is capable of uh, driving on the freeways just fine. Uh, just don't know exactly how fast you're going, you're just usually going with the flow of traffic. So I'm gonna get us turned around here. It is a cloudy day in uh, Phoenix, Arizona today. This Bronco has the 4.9 liter uh, 300 in line six, uh, which I believe at the time they were only rated for 125 horsepower. Um, this is not a quick vehicle, but at the same time, it has enough power to um, get around and it is, um, it does have torque. So, um, and this is a, I believe I came across an article that had this engine as a, one of the 10 best engines ever made. All right, so we are gonna go right here. on the steering wheel the truck does uh, drive straight um, every single piece of suspension bushing all shocks new coils um, everything has been redone radius arm bushings tie rod ends ball joints um, I'm probably forgetting a few um, a few items there as well uh, but we basically got it to the point where it uh, drives perfectly straight um, there is a little bit play in this, a uh, little bit of play in the steering wheel. Um, I've heard this was a common issue, um, but again, the uh, the car drives straight. Uh, it does not have a new um, steering box. Um, it still has the original one. It does have a new power steering pump. Broncos drive, you sit high up, they got the old school truck suspension.
a little bit of vibration from the tires. Um, the tires should get um, balanced and rotated. So the speed limit on this road, I believe it, um, after we cross this bridge, will become uh, 75. Uh, 75 miles per hour, and even though we're going in the slow lane, um, we are keeping up with traffic. smoke they're having some kind of an event over there I haven't taken this uh, Bronco off-road too much, um, actually hardly at all, just one time, and it is incredible how well, with all the new suspension, it handles the dirt trails. Popping the hood open. Right, and 1983 Ford Bronco. This is the XLT Lariat trim. And then here we are under the hood. Battery, new Power Master alternator. Um, it did have new lines done about a year ago with filters. New Power steering pump. Just had the oil change done. New voltage regulator. Newer battery. Okay, all right, and this will be the end of our video.